So let's do an example with batch wise adsorption in tank. Helen mixes 100 liter of water containing 0.8 gram phenol per liter with 5 kilogram active carbon initially containing 0.1 gram phenol per kilogram of carbon. After waiting for equilibrium to establish, she filters away the active carbon. How clean will the solution be if the adsorption isotherm is linear? Q equals 40 times C for C in gram per liter and Q in gram per kilogram. Some hints here. Uh, mass balance for phenol gives Q as a function of C. Isotherm gives Q as a function of C. And you can plot both these functions and find the intersection. So let's start doing the mass balance. As before, V times C0 plus M times Q0 must be V times C plus M times Q. And you, we can put in the numbers. V was 100, C0 was 0 0.8. M was 5, Q0 was 0 0.1, V was 100, and C was um, unknown. M was 5, and Q was unknown. Uh, what I recommend you to do always is to check the units. So if you take uh, 100 times 0 0.8, you should get the same unit as 5 times 0 0.1. Check that yourself. OK, uh, we, all, uh, we can shuffle this around, and then we get this equation here, which we can plot. Let's do that. Uh, let's uh, take some values here. Create series, initial value 0, increment uh, 0. Point, uh, yeah, we can do 0, 0. 0. 0.05 and then final value. Let's see what did we have. Uh, let's see. If I put in Q equals 0, that means that you get C 16.1 uh, divided by 20, so you get 0 0.805. And if you put in C equals 0, you get Q equals 16.1. So let's uh, plot this from, from 0 to 0 0.805. And we put in the equation, column 1 should be 16.1 uh, minus 20.1 times column 0. This happens to be Kaleida graph. You can do it in Excel or whatever. Doesn't matter. And uh, let's plot this. Plot it as a line. That's the thing. Let's add, uh, this was a bit ugly. Uh, let's call this C and this Q. And then make the plot again. So that's the thing. OK, uh, we also need to have our isotherm, and that directly gives us Q equals 40 times C. So we plot that as well. Uh, we can take column 2 equals 40 times uh, the concentration, which in our case is column 0. Uh, and we can call that Q isotherm. And then we can change this plot here. And that is our solution. So let's find that value. Uh, so that's something like 0 0.26, uh, 6, 267, something like that. So because both equations must be valid, so we can solve this graphically. But you can also solve it numerically if you want. And yeah, the concentration is approximately 2.68 and Q equals 10.7, something like that.